Ness underscore doing Super Monkey Ball 2 Community Pack version 1.5 HD Story Mode 2 Skip. Take it away, Ness. Hello, gamers. Hello. Let's pop in. It's Super Monkey Ball time. I have Cocoms. I'm Ness. Uh, Cocoms, you want to introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Helix. I, I play not this hack, but I play other Monkey Ball hacks and games. Hi, I'm Peter, Peter Sink. I've been known to dabble in rolling games such as this one. Play it all the time. Yeah, I would just like to mention that this run like legally has to be good because both my co-coms have done gdq runs so yeah go follow yeah, that also trophy wife. <laughs> yeah um host please tell me gone gone didn't win not with that attitude oh shoot i actually had oh no i forgot to pull up the um i forgot to pull up the bid war you're gonna have to uh it's just more time for gone gone to lose for... Yeah, it's just more time for Gone <laughs> Guys, donate to Mimi. <laughs> Wait, Wait, I'm okay. Okay. Give, don't don't pull it up really quickly. Just give me a couple of seconds, folks. Uh, That'd be only a couple. We know yeah, it's in the okay. lead. All right. Um, yes, indeed. The winner is Gone Gone at $101. 101 Okay. You guys really want it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I was in it. second place by a... Um, but was behind by at least $51. Um, yeah, but... In case you're curious to know the remaining results, we had Baby at $45 and Mimi at $25. That's a blowout. GG, yeah. Gun Gun fans. Keep it up, that's I'm what the Gun Gun stands so... for. The other way around. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not a Gun Gun stand. I'm like, I guess I'll use him. Don't be proud. Yeah, just, just before we start, I'm going to mention, because this is going to go kind of quick. Um, we're gonna be, I'm going to be doing this thing called boosting where I just move diagonally. Um, it's gonna, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that is just boosting, but, like, really intricate, and I do cool stuff off of, like, hitting stuff while boosting. Um, my co-coms can definitely, like, cover it. Uh, actually, I should probably, uh, I don't know, I don't know the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to start time, if you guys are ready. I'm ready. Is that, is that who we're, who we're asking? Who we're asking me? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm... He looks ready. Yeah. Host, do you wanna do you wanna do the countdown? Would you like to do the countdown? Would you like to do the honors? I'd be honored, man. Let's do this. Heck yeah. All right. Boy. All right. Timer ready in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Heck yeah. Okay. So yeah, skipping the cutscene immediately. Gonna go straight into this. It's just going diagonal boosting going as fast as possible and whatever you know how it is mm -hmm. but but if you if cocoms would like to explain like pause buffering and all that stuff that'd be perfect is it coming up lickety split no, not lickety moly. split but it's, it's gonna happen eventually all right i've practiced the pausing spiel many times in my life and let me tell you every time i do it, it's a little bit different this one's gonna be the best one so far just for you all fast fastest first people all right uh basically uh this game is deterministic so if you do the exact same order of inputs at the same time, you'll get an identical result every single time. So, using the pause menu, which can be unpaused and paused again immediately, you can actually create task-like inputs at exactly the same time, which allow you to do stuff that you would otherwise not be able to do in real time. Hence the pausing. Saves more time than the pausing lose. You get to go fast and looks cool. Exactly what you like to see in a speedrun. Is that good? Is that good? You get to be That's a task, real good. basically. And that, that was, was my best one good. so far. <laughs> yeah, real real time tassing. RT tassing. Our, our tassing for short. Hey, speaking of tassing, stay tuned for the, the tass showcase right after this. Hey, yeah. yeah. This, this that so actually cool. goes above and beyond the power of pausing in speed and without any pause. You'll love to see it. Shoutouts to Cyclops. Yeah, so just going on about the category name real quick. Um, us oh, usually with Monkey Ball Runs, you see like story mode all levels. Um, I'm not going to be playing all the levels in this. So I'm going to be doing this glitch where I can exit the game and on like the would you like to save screen after after the exit game menu I can pause again and go back to the game and that can skip 
levels. If I do it wrong, it should crash the game, but hopefully it shouldn't crash the game. Mm. Um, but yeah, after this level, you're basically going to be seeing the power of that. So I can skip two uh, pretty consistently without crashing the game. And that's, that's, this, cat that's this category, where I just don't exit the game, just get more levels. Um, and it really kind of streamlines this hack, because there's some really long levels in this hack, but I'm going to be skipping them. So. Yeah, and the second yeah. level you skip actually has to be the last one, right before the cutscene. Otherwise, the game will crash. Can I just mm -hmm. say that I'm very... Oh, yeah, can I just say that I'm very pleased that that was Sonic Colors music in the background for that world? It was that's That was Planet Wisp. I love it. Yeah, actually, the soundtrack for this for this hack is just a banger. I'm not going to lie. Back Ooh, to back this to one back sounds to familiar, banger. too. Okay. I'm going to be doing a consistency. Oh, missed it. Um, I'm going to be trying to get uh, 59.4. Um, so I can get up here real quick and just do that and skip like the entire stage. Um, there really isn't that much pause, pause buffering in this, so it's actually a really, really like beginner-friendly hack because all all the the strats are pretty simple, um, though they are kind of difficult, and there really isn't anything over like three frames, I think, in this hack, <laughs> which is pretty low, because my upper limit is like four frames, so yeah, yeah. If it's anything like uh, uh, vanilla story mode two skips or any percent in Super Monkey Ball two. Uh, once you reach a certain number of frames in a pause strat, chances are the level's so long that it's going to end up getting skipped anyway. So running any percent or two skip can be a good way to keep the pause strat count low, or just the number of frames per pause strat pretty low. It's a nice yeah. entryway to some harder pause -y categories. Mm. Yep. And ROM hacks generally have strats with fewer pause frames just because they're not explored quite as much. Yeah, and... I actually found a, yeah. a strat earlier that cuts huh? down a frame, believe it or not. Today? Yeah, today. Like, wow. like an hour ago. <laughs> Oh, wow, my gosh. Good thing you weren't on yesterday. Yeah. That's right, runners. You got a faster run today than you would have yesterday. Count your lucky stars. Well done, I'm not Ness. sure how many, like, deaths I've had, but it has not been many. <laughs> not a lot. No, no, no. There was, like, one yeah. really quick one as far as I was looking. I conveniently blink whenever my friends die during marathons, so as far as I can tell... Oh, yeah, no, zero. this is deathless. This is deathless, yeah. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. before in a marathon. You're popping off. Yeah. And you're remembering all the skips and stuff, you love to see it. I, I gotta yeah. say, I love the noise of exiting game in an 80% run, because it always freaks me out, because I'm used to running all levels. I always think that something's going wrong if I hear that sad doot 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 music, but it's not so. <laughs> not so. Not I'm here. not gonna lie, that was a gold. <laughs> the best ever! Yeah. Yeah, you are slaying this run right now. <laughs> Never seen it before from Ness at that speed. You love to see it. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna mention this real quick. I was not gonna mention it, because I thought I'd be doing a lot worse. Um. I did a marathon run of this like a month ago for Calithon, and I forgot that I'd submit it here. <laughs> um, and I haven't played it for a while, but I practiced today and yesterday, and I'm popping off. So hopefully, this is going to be like a real good show in. Your it's powers have cool. doubled since Calithon. Yeah. Sometimes taking breaks does that. Yeah. It's refreshing. Just Calithon. Also, shout out to Midwest Speedfest. Very true. Shout out to the speedrunning community in general, actually. I like speedrunning! I've never went fast in a video game in my entire life. It's nice. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. Hopefully I don't die to it. Okay, cool, I didn't. That saves... two seconds. <laughs> it does oh, not save one. very much. And it's way harder than it looks. I mean, when you but start yeah. getting really optimized in Monkey Ball runs, two seconds becomes a lot. Yeah, two seconds definitely becomes a lot. But then there, there's, like, some strats where uh, it saves, like, like half a second. And I just don't really want to go for it because I do value the consistency most of the time. But Actually, yeah, for me, two seconds is, like, literally the threshold where if it's actually technically consistent, you have to do it. Yeah. For me, anyway. Like, any less than that, and maybe I won't, but, like, that's a lot. Yeah, there's, like, no one that runs this hack, so I don't really have to worry about it that much. Mm -hmm. But what about the swag factor? That's a reason to worry on its own way. Oh yeah, swag is definitely like the most most important. In fact, swag spelled backwards is swag. Look it up. <laughs> that's that's true actually.
So if you're just joining us, this is a ROM hack of Super Monkey Ball 2. It's a collection of a bunch of different levels. Lots of retexturing going on, too, to make them look all nice. Very well put together hack. Yeah, this is one of probably... It's not the best, but it's one of the best around, especially like for beginners. Um, I, I exited a game real early there. It was painful, but that's fine. That's fine. I fixed it. There's sort of a fun arcade field playing through these kind of compilation packs. I feel because you kind of like flip rapidly between worlds. It kind of goes to show how many people like worked on each individual one, you know? Like yeah. while like a one person pack might have the same background for one world, you're just kind of rapidly teleporting between many different worlds. It really makes you feel like you're playing a representation of a giant community of level builders. It's very cool. Well, because you are, but... Mm -hmm. No, but it really makes you feel like you are. Like if you actually were, that's what it would yeah. feel like. <laughs> Definitely, even like one person hacks, like like Gaiden per se. Um, there's still a lot of people that work together to put that hack together, even if one person made all the levels, because mm -hmm. the community's massive and breaking this game open to like make levels and stuff really is just. Yeah, there's so many massive changes to like the quality of life and other various stuff when it comes to ROM hacks that like every single pack sort of, slightly somewhat, is a representation of all the community's efforts. A lot like speedrunning. You're actually seeing one of them right now. Um, in that Nessus playing as Gon Gon. In Vanilla Monkey Ball 2, you can only play as Aya in story mode. Mm hmm Yeah. I also didn't want to interrupt you, but on that last level, I was almost positive I was dead. And I was like, I can save this, actually. <laughs> also, that little cheeky jump at the beginning is really, really hard. I hate doing it. I definitely yeah, actually, it looked like you got that by the, the skin of your monkey teeth right there. Holy skadoli. Yeah, and that's just the intended way to do it. <laughs> but yeah, there, there, there really technically isn't a lot that's going on, but it's, it's more me as a runner has to focus a lot more than like um, like I usually would if I was running, say, Pokemon or something here. Ugh. That was weird. I didn't get the speed I needed. Oh yeah, for sure. Especially in ROM hacks, like notably compared to vanilla, um, all ROM hacks are allowed to use the full extent of uh, like the Wii's ISO loading speed capabilities. So while in regular vanilla Monkey Ball, I have like maybe five, six seconds between every level where I can think and talk and like wipe my hands and recover mentally from whatever happened last stage. In ROM hacks, you're kind of butted right into the next level immediately. So Ness has very little time to actually think about what just happened before heading to the next level or speaking about it. I love that about, about ROM hack runs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, nonstop. Like the lowest, the, the for most speedrunners, the less downtime there is, the better. But it does make it very, very, very skillful to be able to commentate and keep your wits about you while playing a hack like this. It's gonna get very, very difficult as uh, raw max usually do get compared to vanilla game as well. Actually, uh, like especially when you're doing any percent, because you, you then have to remember the route, remember which stages to skip. Oh yeah. Yeah. Especially any percent in this game, world eight is super, super long, and you actually skip like five of the levels so if you do the, the menuing like even remotely wrong you either have to know how to save it or you just crash the game <laughs> yeah that's what happens i tell you when i first learned any percent it was more so uh you know how my levels can I complete before i accidentally crash the game because i'm not a route on the fly kind of guy i need pure muscle memory or else i die yeah actually yeah, when, I, when I started like running whatever. um i started running vanilla in like 2015 or something mm. um i i did start with, with any percent actually so mostly because of that, I just have myself like 13 year old me to think. So I'm actually just decent at on the flight, like story mode routing. Mm. I'm surprised actually how many people seem to start with any percent when it comes to just any monkey ball speed running. I guess it's uh, less levels looks more appealing, but the glitch itself is pretty complicated. Yeah. Please, I it's can't like turn around. The glitch itself is fine, but it's the specific ways in which you can and cannot use the glitch is what's complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got like your five rules in order to not uh, so soft lock and cry and quit the marathon forever. I will say I've never crashed in a marathon. I'm, I'm saying that a bit early, but... <laughs> you are, yeah, you are, you are tempting fate right now. That is pure confidence. I like that. No jinx is going to stop now, so you'll have to see it. Yeah, here's the thing. I've also never crashed in BB attempts, so... Oh, an even bigger, longer-term claim. I love to see it. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I just have the stones to be able to do that. I'm just confident, you know. Mm -hmm. What a legend! 
Huge monkey balls. <laughs> My finger slipped off, and then I just neutral for really long. <laughs> I, I sensed exactly what happened there. In my in my monkey ball oh, knowledge, exactly. exactly what that looked like was a finger slipping off of a joystick. Yeah. Pure IRL RNG. I can't do this Hands anymore, no. I, I had it like perfectly until the finger slip and I just can't do it anymore. The game won't get me with crashes, so it'll get me with that, I guess. Mm. It's close enough. How much does that uh, bonking off that second sand trap save over just rolling around it? Like. Almost half a second. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, no way, that was a lot. That's awesome. That's ballsy. You love it. Do, 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 do. Oh, I like the continuous music, even though the backgrounds are different. That's great. Another yeah. quality of life uh, feature in ROM hacking is the continuous music in story mode. Yeah, Infinity music is super, super cool. Because, like, um, in, in vanilla, especially with, like, any percent, you don't even get to hear, like, the good parts of a lot of the songs. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, like half the songs like drop like a minute in and you're not gonna take a minute to be any stage. Yeah. That's why one day when we switch completely off discs, when every a real disc in the world is broken, we'll get to install a bunch of those cool mods and it'll be a lot more fun to speedrun vanilla as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've definitely been thinking about making like a um like a two like definitive edition with like a lot of the quality of life features, like picking monkey for story mode and like infinity music and stuff. True, that'd be cool. Actually that'd be awesome. Mildly upset rings. <laughs> I gotta tell you, yeah. they're back. Actually, that was one of the like first, uh, not the first, but one of the first custom levels ever made. Um, wow! Obviously, like like a play on uh, uh, Mad Rings from Vanilla Two. <laughs> wow! I, I was just commenting. I wasn't even getting that. <laughs> that flew way over my head. I was just happy about some rings that were somewhat upset. Yeah. I didn't even connect the two things. You'll have to see. <laughs> Spiral under stars, isn't that a touch and roll level? Yeah, it's a touch and roll level. That's what I thought. Roll, if you will. I just came yeah. up with that off the top of my head. Shout out to Troll. Reminds me that, yeah, it's, that reminds me that uh, DS capture cards might be coming in season somewhere soon. Maybe. <laughs> Shout out to Loopy. Very important. Mm. Shout out to Loopy. Shout out to Loopy. Oh, and yeah, with for that, the right here, just... um, oh, you can go, sorry. Oh. No, it's fine. Yeah, you can go first. Oh yeah, for that menuing right there, um, I hold right before uh, I, I buffer like a right input, so it pushes right immediately, and then right when I hear like the sound effect, I skip the stage. So I go from two to three, I skip three, and then it puts me onto four, and then I skip two at the end, just so I could do like less menuing overall in the in the world. It saves a bunch of time actually, just knowing how to do stuff like that. Mm. Menuing is like a big part of this run. So would this be a good time for me to come in with some donations? Oh yeah, of course. I was about to mention that, actually. No problemo. Well, we had a few come in, and we got $20 from V Agents. <clears throat> oh wow. Dang it. First donation I read, and I, I slip up. Uh, you love to see it. We got a $20 donation from V Agent Zero, saying thanks for the awesome speedruns. Shasta killed it as always, and it's a pleasure to donate to such a good cause. And speaking of Shasta, we had a Mr. Underscore Shasta donate $10 saying rat. And we also have a $50 donation from Kiera saying, sorry, Morris. Oh, yes. Um, I'd like to also bring to attention that we do have some new incentives opened for um, Saturday. So we got two Ori incentives for Glix. <clears throat> Second slip up of the shift. Wonderful. We have a glitch exhibition, as well as the Rainbow Dash Trail. So if you'd like to see those happen, I think you all know what to do. And then we also have Resident Evil HD Remaster, where we will upgrade the category to 100% if met. So, so yeah, that'll be all for now. Back to you. And I ask for an ad with the rolled out character choice real quick. I'll get back to you on that one. Okay. I closed it at the start of my run, so there's not too much time left on uh, that was the new strap, by the way. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Yeah, it, it took forever to get the, the first frame, which is 85. But then the, the second frame has like such a big... Oh, I missed it. Has such a big window. It's not really that hard to get. I think it has like a right. seven frame window, but like half of them are different. Wow. And like, there's really just... Cool there's frame just oh, I, no. I wasn't supposed to play this stage. Oh. Well, it looks cool anyway. 
Bonus well, while you're getting that, yeah, bonus content. While you're getting that down to answer your question, Helix, uh, I it, per, correct me if I'm pronouncing this wrong. Chartreuse, the giraffe, is currently in the lead at that fifty dollar donation. But I can definitely see that uh, Morris is currently in second place, ten dollars, mind you. But uh, yeah, I can definitely see that our previous two donations went to your bid war. So um, yeah, that should answer your question. We love the giraffe. Thank you. See if I get this. Okay, massive cool. work, massive, massive. That was sick. Good stuff. Thank you. That's a lot harder than it looks because you have to like hit off of that like very very large uh, arc. So it's a lot more specific than it looks. Believe it or not. Something I love about the Monkey Ball speedruns is some of these tricks look really hard and they're not, and then some of, some of them that look really easy are actually really hard. <laughs> Okay, this oh, is like sweet. Is this the first moment this gimmick showed up? In the run, because I have to play this as Gone Gone. I might just buffer this last part. I think so. Okay, it's fine. I've definitely gotten good at rapid buffering, because I still don't know the vanilla Monkey Ball 2 tier frames. I just rapid buffer it every time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's a good skill to have, actually. I also saw a gimmick there where some parts of the level do not tilt with the rest of the stage. I think that's the only level like that I play in the run. Oh wow. It's always surreal to see. It's very, very completely brain-boggling every single time you see parts of the stage that are just staying still, because they look like the ones that are moving, because you're so used to the entire stage moving. Yeah. It's weird. You gotta like, slow down when you get close to them in order to not have a weird panic attack. Party Ball's mad at you. Yeah, the you party, know, the party Ball The Party Ball does not count as a goal, so you can hit the Party Ball and just get sent. To your doom. Yeah, I like, ground I like is just like full sending that stage. Because if I full send that stage, it's like 90% I hit the, I hit the party ball and it's awful. But if I get a first try, then it looks really cool. <laughs> so I'd rather have the swag than like, you know. Plus, it's like a third of a second faster. So, you know, might as well. Hopefully I get this first try. I got this first try in my first practice run, and then like 10th try in my second practice run. So hopefully it like averages out or something. It'll average out to second try. Yeah. Calling it now. First try. Or first try? Or even oh, better. First try. <laughs> oh, jabated. Oh, oh, jabated. Oh. Or first try? First try? Okay, cool. My prediction remains true. Second try, first try. It's a, it's a shallow victory, though, because you always want your friends to succeed, succeed first try, so, you know, yeah. don't don't applaud me too hard. I just fall into this hole right here, and... Oh! Okay, I guess oh. I won't. Uh, okay, yeah, so this stage is cool. I fall right into here, and I try not to die, and then I... Uh, I don't honk the goal when I do that. I try and succeed not to. to die. Yeah. And then more menuing. You know, the standard just manuing skipping stages at the end of the world. Oh yeah, pressing the A button. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? Okay, I need to like, I'm looking at my splits for something. And if I can look at my splits for long enough between levels, that will be very cool. Okay. That's that's cool. I'm very close to my PB right now. Yeah, I don't want to say anything, but this run seems pretty solid. Yeah, it's definitely not bad. I definitely like don't really grind this game that much. I just play it for fun because it's fun. Um, but yeah, this run's really solid right now. I, I usually do a frame here, but I don't want to do it because it sucks. So I'm just gonna do the fast version. Of the regular strat. That's wild. <laughs> yeah, blind, blind, blind falling is funny. Can I uh, come in with a couple more donations? Oh yeah, absolutely. So you might recognize these next couple of names because we got first got a ten dollar donation from Mist Op. More supporters rise up. 
And then another $10 donation from Lori D. Bunnykins. More supporters. We need you now. Let's get this donation train going for Morris the Rat and rolled out. So that should put Morris at $30 trailing behind Charterus by 20 So $21 should put Morris in the lead. Does Snow come the chicken? Doesn't have anything? Not at the moment. That's that's, a, that's really sad because I'm a fan of Snow Cone the Chicken. Snow Cone supporters rise up. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm a fan of Morris. You know, cool cool guy, but Snow Cone the Chicken. Thank you for the update, though, Tempest. I would like to do this. I'd like to do this. This is cool. If I can actually do this, okay, I give up. I you know, the plan was to like hit off like, the little triangles and get all the way to the tunnel, like touching the floor like twice. I kept trying to do this strat in Community Pack 2020, and I eventually like sort of gave up on it and did like a half version, sort of like you did. I I did it earlier today, <laughs> which is why I was hoping I can get it now, but I guess not. It's fine. Please? 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> First try. There it is. <laughs> Oh, wait, this is actually banana blitz stage. Um, you can beat it without jumping. It's very cool. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna beat this stage first try without jumping. It's gonna be very cool. Hopefully, I can not be punished for my hubris again. That's to a uh, jump mod. Yeah, shout out to jump mod. Shout out to complex plane. For making the practice mode as well. Absolutely. Incredibly important tool. Yeah, you might be like, okay, why do you need a practice mod? Because, you know, Monkey Ball has a practice mode, and that's more than a lot of speed game can, like, even think of, right? Ah! <laughs> Actually, I had no idea about that. Thank you for educating me. Yeah, but, um, but practice mod is really just incredible. It's super, super handy. And you can use it on a lot of packs too, I think. Okay, let's see if I can get this. Okay, that's so cool. Okay, first frame. Eh? Okay, that works, I think. How'd I survive? I thought, you were gone. Not even close? I thought you were gone for I sure. I thought I was gone. What the heck? I thought I was being punished for my hubris again. Also, yeah, this is another blind fall stage because Monkey Ball 2 really likes to make you fall without looking about uh, looking where you're going. And then skipping the last level. So yeah, this is kind of like where the run winds down. Honestly, the, the strats kind of get kind of crazier, but I just kind of coast through here because um, I'm just so used to practicing the end game. Um, you can kind of go through this wormhole. It doesn't have collision. It saves one oh, time, actually. Well, that, that that gave me a heart attack. <laughs> that was cheeky. I like it. Yeah, <laughs> that, that looked like one, that kind of sad betrayal where you barely barely scuff over the lip and get sent up way to the right. Freaked me out. Yeah, shout out to Eucalyptus SMB for finding that. Awesome. Is that like a like a guidance style wormhole where there's just absolutely zero collision besides the actual hole itself? Yeah. Uh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Speaking of eucalyptus, I should mention that they are in the chat. Shout out to Eucaly are. eucalyptus SMB in the chat. Go, go follow him. And shout out to eucalyptus leaves as well, a favorite of the giraffe, which is currently winning in the rollout poll. Yeah, unless it changed, my internet disconnected. I've been gone for like three minutes. <laughs> I think you were in the middle of a sentence when that happened too. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was wondering. I was wondering what that was like from uh, from everyone else's perspective. But I came back smoothingly. I gotta say, the people in the setup were very polite and pulling me back in. Excellent done. Fasted first. What did I just say? Excellent level's... done. Fasted first. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Carry on. Yeah, this level's kind of mean sometimes. It has not bullied me all day, and it's bullying me not now. Because it's very easy to just go too fast and then just like shoot off like the side of a corner or something. Oh! oh wow. Fast grind. 
Okay. Awesome. I, I, I have to finish now. I, to I guess I don't have to finish now. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. The game just wants to kick me while I'm down right now. What the heck? Oh, man. Can I quickly interrupt here? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. We just got a $51 donation from Waki saying, Chicken Gang Rise Up! <laughs> that puts Yo. Snow Cone in the lead now. Woo! Let's go, Snow Cone in the lead. I didn't want to explain it by it, but I, <laughs> I really want to, you know, talk about Snow Cone for a little bit. This is huge. Keep it going, chicken fans. You know chickens can fly. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do... I'm going to do... This. Mental Refresh! Marathon strategy. You'll love to see it. Only the bravest speedrunners will do that. Yeah, yeah. The stage will have its chance later. It didn't earn it right now, honestly. If I can remember what 10 is... Oh. Yeah, I'll just play this one, actually. This one's not that bad. I'm not playing that level ever again. You guys are never seeing that level again. More okay. bonus content. Wait! You're not gonna skip it, are you? I'm skipping it. Doesn't the game crash if you skip a stage you played? Oh, no, no, no. I think it's only if you skip one... Like, I, messed up, I messed up the played? thing and I thought I can do it, but I couldn't. Okay, I actually did that. Okay, cool. I go like this, I think. I haven't done this in a while. Okay. Yeah. It, it won't let... It won't, It doesn't crash, but it just won't let you skip the stage. Um, If if you if you just went into it. So, like, if I exited this and then skipped it. Oh, I learned something, then. I didn't know. I thought it was just over over if you played a stage you weren't supposed to. Interesting. Oh, yeah, no. Please... Nice. Am I allowed to say stairs and ball game here? Because this is kind of what this is. Yeah, this is triangular stairs and ball game. Isn't this yeah, an NGU this is... stage? I think so, maybe. I saw Cutsman playing on stage once when he was doing an NGU playthrough. Very cool. Looks really pretty in this pack. Oh, I love this stage! Look at all that custom cool. references! Name the reference! Name those stages! Oh, uh, okay. I can save this. I can save this. You allowed? Oh, I can't. Oh. <laughs> I saw it. I, I, did, I didn't get enough like backwards collision. No, it's oh, Cutsman stage. stage. Okay, all right, my bad. <laughs> oh, I can save this actually. No, I can't. I have too much speed, too little speed, and too much speed. So what I'm trying to go for is the green goal, which is just kind of the fastest, and it's cool. Um, but if I get enough collision, if I get a good collision, and I have enough speed, I can get to the blue goal. Alright, the, that, the triangle that, stage the was not an NGU stage, by the way. It was a Cutsman stage. There's been a correction in the chat at maximum volume. I stand corrected. Thank you. Peter is a sham. Yeah. Off a GDQ. Retroactively deleted. Okay. I sw I sw I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm being my redemption like, arc now. I'm being like like a pansy with, with my like adjustments. It's gonna be perfect. Watch. Chaos, yeah, chaos. That was glorious. I just have to say it like I'm gonna jinx it, but I just don't jinx it. Yeah. yeah. You just gotta you just gotta rock out with full confidence. The game is yeah. afraid of you if you do that. Yeah, the, the game got scared. Mm. Ah! Okay. That's fine. This stage is cool. Uh you have the air boost in the stage. And you you get like nothing about air boosting in vanilla, so it's very nice that there's like an air boost tutorial stage. Okay, I guess I can't do it. I guess I can't do it. Oh yeah, this is a very advanced tech kind of stage. Cool. Yeah, that's why it's like all the way in world nine. Gotta have that good good air control. Okay, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Triple bonk for good luck. Yeah. And then skipping stages and whatever. Yeah, two in a row here. I just like. Yeah, I know you stages. could actually like open a stage and then leave and still skip it later and exit, exit, game, exit the game. That's interesting to me. New knowledge. Yeah. You play more any percent. Yeah. Huh. Any percent is content. just the category. Yeah. Sounds about right. I got a couple more donations if we got a bit of a moment here. Oh yeah, go ahead. Cause good God. Um, yeah, Helix, your bid war is uh, getting a lot of attention, that's for sure. <laughs> so we had a $10 donation from Hollow Hero, 
Snow Cone Squad, rise up, and good luck to the runners. But then we got another $50 donation from Kira saying, silly old Shimkin. And that just puts Charteroos back in the lead at $100. <laughs> I'm loving this. <laughs> also, I would like to mention, uh, oh, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you would silly. like to refer to the rolled out characters in the chat, their pronouns are all they, them. Correct. Most important information about rolled out. Also, this stage is really difficult. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. It's just all cones. Oops. Uh, I must oh, that was so close. Yeah, like moving while you're like on angles and if they're rounded, just makes it even harder. These are really steep, too. Yeah. <gasps> okay. Nice, nice. Good save. So hopefully I can do this. This is kind of cycle based, but not really, but also kind of. Yeah, okay. I just kind of blind fall onto that. I'm not really blind fall, but I can't really see where I'm going. <laughs> Sorry. I went from that award for not being able to see. We'll find one eventually. <laughs> I guess it is a blind fall, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could call it that. I'd call it not not know where you're seeing. Can't even see where you are, ball fall. If it, if I were the one who was in charge of naming, which is why I'm not in charge of naming. Yeah, I've never named anything in Monkey Ball before. That is sad. You should get to one. Go ahead. You can steal one of the strats I invented. I don't mind. I, I only I'm have like two. almost positive I've, I've invented something that's at least kind of in oh, in the Monkey Ball meta. One of the things I contributed to, to oh, contributed to naming is all difficulties, but uh. stage. Oh my yeah. god, the, this, the stage is so dumb. Actually, <laughs> it's not even that hard. It's just e really easy to fall like that. This is like super diagonal tech training. This is warp two a point oh. Yeah, this is warp, but best be using your diagonals. There we go. I did it. Yeah, do a perfect quarter turn there. So hard. Alright, so only a few more. Yeah. So time's coming up real soon. Um, there's only a couple levels, I think. And I'm skipping, and I'm on second skip. That's gonna be time. Time is not on a goal entry in this category. It's yeah. on the final skip. So, I usually skip this stage, but it's really funny if I can get this perfect. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was so close. I got the speed bump. What? <laughs> one more time. One more time. For Does anyone want to explain a monkey ball speed bump? <laughs> uh, you just asked us to explain the most unexplainable phenomenon ever. How could you do that to us? Yeah, like I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> what the heck? Why would you ask us to do that? I, th I, th I thought you were going to be like, yeah, I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, for some reason, there are small bumps at the end of platforms. I don't know why the game does that. It's... Or, not, or not at the end of platforms. Yes. Yeah, Big it's... bump, bigger bump sometimes. You just kind of get kicked into the air a little bit. They're called speed bumps because they give you speed, not because they punish you for having speed, but... Uh... You this, this instance in particular is not a speed bump, but an issue with conveyors. Interesting. I so there are that. speed bumps, so I don't think you're going to see any of them. Please, please. You might see some of them during the task. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. And you, like, no, basically like... just don't notice them at all. Okay, this is the last level. Hopefully I don't get bullied. From context equipment, it said there is not a blank area before the top of the platform and hitting the conveyor's corner will throw you off. Oh, that was, you almost side gold that. That would have been sick. Yeah, that would have been sick. Okay, so skipping these two, and then that's going to be time. Time is on the second stage select. Yep. That's number oh. one. Hold, hold, hold. Get ready, get ready. And... Okay, so I'd like to... Thank everyone for watching. I'd like to thank the Monkey Ball community. Um, I'd like to thank like <laughs> wonderful Cocoms. Helix has a run after. Um, <laughs> Super Monkey Ball hacking community. Cold. You guys are so cool. Um, you know, shouts to every <laughs> single one of you. You know, especially you because you, you're like the only one other than me that runs this. Um, we have a hack cool. speedrunning community. Um, join that if you want to get into playing hacks and stuff. Um, there's a rolled out Discord. I'm preemptively doing that. I'm sorry. 
Um, what else is there? Um, follow me, dolegaming.info. Um, Cyclops is up next. 100% stick around for that. Um, three, two, one, and time. GG. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold anymore. <laughs> GG. Yeah. <laughs> That was, that was funny. <laughs> I could I could have really held it for the for the rest of the for the rest of the estimate, but yeah, you know, thanks thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, uh, cut me off whenever. <laughs> no, I just want to say that was absolutely beautiful, <laughs> especially what you did there at the end. I was gonna say um, but I was so tempted not to. I I yeah. swear. I hear we're a bit ahead of schedule. You know, that's just making sure things don't spiral out of control. You love to see it. Yeah. I mean, I guess, but at the same time, I didn't want to... Yeah, I'm definitely not going to drop the ball on that. Ah, oh, but I'm... Oh, I don't but get it! I'm... Wow. Yeah, honestly, we're, we're just on a roll with this marathon. Keep donating. Keep doing what, keep uh, doing what you're oh. doing. Incentives. Roll out incentive. That's it. Goodbye. Cool. <laughs> I will and see y'all in a bit. This person... I will see you all never. Just kidding, I'm on the next run. Or one of the runs. Helix, help. There's Which the, run are there's you? The, there's the task when I'm after that. Watch the task, by the way. It's going to be incredible. Oh, and your time was 36.38. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, stay tuned, everybody. We got the task coming up next. You're watching Fastest First Spring Spectacular's Monkey Block. <laughs>